Hey, what's up, guys? It's Red Redemption Gaming coming to you today with the Master League Barge Guide. So, first, let's explain what Barge is. So, Barge is when you just use Barbarians and Archers as your main attacking force. So, why use these tier 1 troops and masters? Well, because Barge is a pretty cheap army composition that enables you to raid f frequently and if you master it effectively. Using Barge and Master League lets you take advantage of the recently buffed league bonuses and also the numerous dead bases that you can find up here. When it comes to building your Barge army, I know some people like to do 20 Barbarians in each camp and then follow it up with um, the rest Archers, but really I think that's kind of an OCD thing. I like to just fill the first two with Barbarians and the second two with Archers. It usually ends up being about 120 Barbarians and 100 Archers around there. So um, as for the spells though, I use 4 Lightning and that's just to get rid of a Mortar in case there's one that's kind of closer to the edge or to pick off the last few structures for the win. So let's get into it. Okay, so I guess we're going to start with the Juicy Dead base first. So let's get into the basics. So what you're going to want to do first is pick off any buildings that are out of range with your archers. So as you can see, I'm just kind of going around, testing to see what is in range and what's not, what I can get and what I can't. So let's see, get the spell factory, get the elixir pump. Um, see how I tested twice with that gold mine? The first archer was in range, but the second, which looked like the exact same spot, wasn't. Uh, as you start to raid more, you'll be able to just kind of be able to tell what is out of range and what's not. So once you get all of those deployed and all those easy picks, you're gonna, well right here I'm just taking out, out these cannons because there's not much defense at the top anyway. So if I can get rid of these cannons, there's not going to be too much left to take care of up here except for that arch tower really. So I attack from the top on this one and then I start my attack from the bottom. And really all you do in barge is you deploy half of your half of your barbs on the bottom, followed up by half of your archers, and then you do the same on the other side. So there isn't a whole lot of strategy when you're barging dead bases, but dead bases aren't all you're going to find up here. I know that'd be super nice, but especially when you're pushing through Masters League with barge, you're, you're going to have to uh, learn how to uh, attack little bit higher levels, Town Hall 10s that have a little bit better defenses. So I'll get to that later though. So your barbs and archers usually should get you to about 40% or close to there. Uh, as you can see here, I was able to get the 50 without having to even use my heroes. But one of the steps in barging is check to see if you do need your heroes and deploy them accordingly. Um, as for the clan castle though, you can deal with them if you want or you can make them chase your troops around the base while you get the 50% anyways. Uh, either work, I, I use both of these methods. Kind of just depends on the situation. Overall, it's a super simple rating strategy and any Town Hall 9 can do it up here with ease. So one of the biggest advantages to Barching and Masters is the amount of Dark Elixir that you get. So barging up here, you usually get anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 Dark Elixir per raid, which stacks up very quickly if you're raiding every 15 minutes or so. So you can usually be farming enough Dark Elixir to always have at least one hero upgrading, but you don't want them both because up in Masters, you are going to run into the situation where you do need your heroes to bail you out of uh, maybe a bad raid, bad placement of your troops. I don't know the reason, any reason though, eventually you're going to need them. So the other advantage is just the crazy amount of loot available up here. And with the 100k leak bonus stacked on, you can get 1 million resource raids quite frequently. Another reason I barge in Masters is just the challenge. As any farmer in Gold 1 or Gold 2 knows that uses barch, it is very tedious. It's a very tedious farming method. It's the exact same thing over and over again. It's just, uh, I mean, it's the same thing. So you get the loot, you get the win. It's it's easy. So, but up here it is very challenging. There are raids that you will lose, and I just enjoy I enjoy this kind of farming a lot more because just because I mean better loot, more more of a challenge, more fun. So as this attack winds down, we'll take a look at the loot. 
oh, that's about 750k total resources, which is an excellent farm, and we get about 1.5k dark elixir as well. So next, let's take a look at a situation where you do need your heroes to really bail you out. So for this attack, I uh, purposefully put myself in this situation. So what do you do when your raid didn't go as planned and you're sitting with 30% with all of your barge army gone? Well, you can say goodbye to those heroes because they're about to take a little nap. So this is why you shouldn't ever have both your heroes out upgrading because there will be a time when you do need to get those last few percentages and your heroes can come in clutch. So as you can see, my barb gets pulled in quick by the enemy archer queen but his barbarians were underage for a little bit after he went so I use my my archer queen she gets stuck on this dark elixir storage and I we can take out that tesla real quick which actually probably helped a lot because now she's able to get those barracks and so my barbarian king's already gone looking at structures that I can drop a lightning at I'm looking at the barbarian king and the Builder hut over there, see if I can get them both. No, and then I drop it on accident and take out that final dark elixir pump for the 50% and the 100k loot bonus. So now we're going to move into the more challenging attacks and learn how to attack town hall tens. So I know farming dead bases and masters all day would be ideal, but not all of your raids will be dead bases with full collectors. But with a league bonus of 100k, you can turn a 100k gold and elixir raid into a 200k. So what are some things to check for while raiding a more difficult base? Well, the first thing you want to look for are expos that are pointed up, mortars closer to the center, infernos that aren't close to the sides, and preferably heroes that are more centralized. You can take the heroes out if they're on the outside, but it does take a good amount of troops if they're higher levels, so I'd, I'd advise dropping your clan castle on at least one if they're both outside their base. Uh, you want to make sure that it's a base that you can actually get 50% on. You're going to want to find a base that has plenty of buildings on the outside so your barbs and archers can get to them. Surprisingly enough, tier 1 troops aren't meant to storm inside even a decent Town Hall 10, and anything that has an infer Inferno Tower will shred your barge army up, so definitely do not barge a base that has Infernos on the outside. Another nice thing about Masters is running into those Town Hall Snipes. It's really probably the easiest 100k that you'll ever make. They aren't super plentiful up here, but you'll definitely run into a few when you're searching for your bases to attack. Well, that's really all the advice I have for barging in Masters. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, drop a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to throw a like to the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks guys.